is our next part in the story of Easter. If you will remember the last time we had a story, the curtain in the temple had torn in two from the top to the bottom. And the army officer said, this man really is the son of God. And remember some of the ladies were there. Among them were Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of the younger James and of Joseph and Salome. They had followed Jesus while he was in Galilee and had helped him. And many other women had come to Jerusalem to try to help Jesus. Now this is his burial. It was toward the evening when Joseph of Arimathea arrived. He was a respected member of the council who was waiting for the coming, coming of the kingdom of God. It was preparation day, that is the day before the Sabbath. So Joseph went boldly into the presence of Pilate and asked him for the body of Jesus. Pilate told Joseph he could, do, he could have the body. So Joseph brought a linen sheet and took the body down from the cross. He wrapped it in the sheet and placed it in a tomb which had been dug out of solid rock. Then he rolled a large stone across the entrance to the tomb. Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of Joseph, were watching and saw where the body of Jesus was placed. After the Sabbath, as Sunday morning was dawning, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to look at the tomb. Suddenly there was a violent earthquake. An angel of the Lord came out from heaven, rolled the stone away, and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning, and his clothes were as white as snow. The guards were so afraid, and they trembled like dead men. The angel spoke to the women. You must not be afraid, he said. I know you are looking for Jesus, who was crucified. He is not here. He has been raised, just as he said. Come here and see the place where he was lying. Go quickly now and tell his disciples. He has been raised from death, and now he is going to Galilee ahead of you, and there you will see him. Remember what I have told you. So they left the tomb in a hurry. They were afraid, yet they were filled with joy, and they ran to tell the disciples. Suddenly Jesus met them and said, Peace be with you. They came up to him, took hold of his feet, and worshipped him. Do not be afraid, Jesus said to them. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee, and there they will see me. This is when Jesus appears to his disciples after he resurrected from the grave. The 11 disciples went to the hill in Galilee where Jesus had told them to go. When they saw him, they worshiped him, even though some of them doubted. The one that doubted was Thomas, and Thomas would not believe that it was Jesus until he could see and put his hand on the scar where Jesus was crucified in his hands, see the nails in his hands. Jesus knew them and said to them, I have been given all authority in heaven and on earth. Go then to all peoples everywhere and make them my disciples. Baptize them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit and teach them to obey everything I have commanded you. And I will be with you always, even to the end of the age. And if you'd like to look up some of these verses yourself, you can look in Mark chapter 11, verses 1 through 4. And also, you can look in some of the other Gospels as well. Matthew 28, 1 through 10, and 16 through 20. All of this story I have told you has been directly from the Bible. So I wish you all a wonderful Easter, and I enjoyed telling you the story of Jesus' death and resurrection. Peace be with you all.